Okay, so we will try to do the first question and just a slight ver uh, clarification. When you see the word divisible, it should be fx divisible by x minus a, so it should be that way, okay? But x minus a is a factor of fx, so that's the only clarification. And uh, if you look at number 1a, so that fx equals to kx cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 3, where k is a constant, uh, and it's given that x minus 3 is a factor. So is a factor so you know the remainder will be zero when you put x minus 3 equal to 0 so x needs to be equal to 3 so f3 so immediately by just reading what's given here I should be able to write down x uh, f3 equal to 0 okay because that's the remainder theorem and when you do this then you will actually see that the x's when replaced here you only have k left on this side and on this side on the right hand side is still zero so you'll be able to solve what k is okay and 27k this is 963 plus 6 plus 3 so you have 654 27k and k is equal to 2 so you found part a done and when k is found you will put it back into the equation that's for part b so let's just put that in first so fx is now no longer with a k because k is found so it's 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 3 okay so that's the beginning and now in part b they're asking you to find all the rational roots okay so how can i find the roots i need to know the first root and actually in part a they actually gave us the root because they tell us x minus 3 is a factor so what x minus 3 is 0 x is equal to 3 right so the 3 is already your first root so by using your first roots you will be able to find the remaining of the others by using the long division so you will use your first factor x minus 3 because that's that's going to give you your first root so x minus 3 is your first factor which you will put in to the long division being the divisor and the fx is being your dividend and then you're gonna do your long division or you can do your short division as you prefer okay so x x square 2x square so 2x cubed minus 6x square because negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 and negative 7 minus negative so it's negative 1 and negative x okay and this negative x plus 3 so it's negative 1 If you don't get a zero, you're doing something wrong. So do it once more. So now we have your first factor and the second factor. So fx can be written down as x minus 3 and then 2x squared minus x minus 1. Because we remember dividend is equal to divisor times quotient plus remainder. So the remainder is zero, which is not needed in this case. So it's solely just the divisor times the quotient is equal to the original dividend so if the dividends here it can be also written as this times this so I've written exactly that and now because they're asking us to find the roots when fx is equal to zero so if fx is equal to zero then I'll get a root from here but then I also need to find what the roots is here from okay so in this case when they ask you for rational roots immediately I'll be thinking about the quadratic equation okay well, what was the quadratic equation? It's negative b. Or quadratic formula, excuse me. The quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, a is 2, b is negative 1, c is also negative 1. So, negative of negative 1 is positive 1. b Again, it's negative 1 squared minus 4ac. 
over 2a. That's 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. And 9 over 4. Just get that right. It's 2, 8. Yeah. So that's what square root 9? Square root 9 is 3. So that's a whole number actually in this case. So 1 plus or minus 3 over 4. So you have two answers. It's one of them is plus, one of them is minus. So in this case, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 4. 1 minus 3 over 4 is negative half. Okay, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 4 is negative half. And then with the original first option of x minus 3 equals 0, x is equal to 3. So actually, there's three different answers in here, and they are all rational because. 1 is obviously a rational number, and one point, uh, 0 0.5, anything ending, anything that is repeating, they're all rational. So this one ends 0 0.5, yeah? So it's a rational number. And then obviously the original one, the first factor, x minus 3, will give you x equal to 3. So therefore, you have three factors in this case, okay? So you will write them down because f x needs to be 0. So your first answer is from here, and then the second answer you used your rational, you, because they're asking for rational roots, you immediately used the, the quadratic formula, okay? Negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a, okay? And sometimes they'll also ask for real roots or not, and then for real roots we simply just use the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. If it's bigger than zero, we have two roots. If it's less than zero, we have no roots. When it's equal to zero, it has one repeating root. No roots means no real roots, by the way. Okay, so that's all we need to remember. Hopefully, you can get good grades. Good luck.